Hello, YouTube. Well, here we are at the helm of my IBM, or IBM, the old habits die hard, Lenovo ThinkPad T61. And I have put Windows 8 on here. And I'm actually pretty pleased with the results. So let's turn it on and check it out. Much like my Core 2 quad boards and my bedside computer, a lot of stuff just works out of the box, which is really, really nice like drivers and whatnot. Most of the stuff that I had to install were things like uh, uh, some power management stuff, the drivers for the track point and the trackpad, uh, amongst a few other things, the hotkey software for the uh, hotkeys. Not a whole lot, really, since this machine is from 2006 or seven, I think. Uh, it didn't need a whole lot of, to get it to work. This is what I love. This, I changed my background here to this picture, and that's just sweet looking. You can change the background picture, your login screen, you hit space to log in. I'll log in here. It's And Windows 8 is also very quick on any computer, but on a computer like this that has a T7300 Core 2 Duo in it, it's 2 gigahertz. It's very, very fast. Yeah, looks like I have some updates in the store. But yeah, I'm very pleased with the results. Windows 8 runs beautifully on this machine. Uh, I see no updates up there, so... Yeah. There's my desktop. Made it look nice. Got some software installed down there. Got Word, and Word got Office 2010 and Firefox and a bunch of other stuff in here. And it all seems to work great. Uh, one thing that I've noticed about Windows 8 on laptops is it actually makes more sense on a laptop because track because of the trackpad and what the trackpad does. Go away, I've asked. Here's the side here. You can swipe from the side of that trackpad, and that gives you the charms menu. Let me do it again. See, so gestures built into the trackpad make a lot of sense. I think from the left. From the left changes windows. Look at that. That's pretty cool, I have to admit. That makes Windows 8 make a whole lot more sense on a laptop. On a desktop, it's still kind of hokey, I think, but on a, on a laptop, it makes a little bit more sense just because of those gestures. I think that's pretty cool. And I just wanted to point that out. Other than that, it's, it runs really well. Let's bring up Excel. Yeah, you can do your finances and stuff in there. Yeah, it runs extremely well. I'm very happy with it. Apparently my system is not fully protective. Why are the real-time shields off? That's weird. Vast is being weird. Oh well. But yeah, Windows 8 running on um, my ThinkPad T61. Seems to work really well, even on an old machine like this, just like the uh, Core 2 quad board. <clears throat> so... There you have it. One thing I find myself doing in Windows 8 is getting crap out of the start menu here, like this. Just select everything. With uh, right by right clicking it. And then hit unpin from start, and then it cleans up the uh, Metro UI quite a bit. Which is nice, because I don't want, met want non-Metro apps in, uh, in the uh, start screen here. I like having those as my desktop shortcuts. So, there you have it. So far, it runs very well. And uh benefit to having Windows 8 on here is I get to play some of the games that are in the uh the, the win in the uh Windows 8 store. So, <laughs> some of those games are fun too, so that's kind of a value add there. Windows 8 slowly growing on me. I like it for uh, many reasons, but I don't for others. So, you know, there you have it. I still have Windows 7 on my main desktop. That's probably the way it's going to stay for the foreseeable future. 
but on the laptop, Windows 8 is pretty nice. So I'll probably leave it on there because it runs pretty well. Unless I run into really nasty bugs or something, uh, I'll probably leave it on there because I'm liking it on here. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you guys that even on a laptop of this age, you can still run Windows 8 very, very well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and have a good one, everybody. Ciao.